in Unreal Engine 4.21, we have quite a few changes, optimizations, and improvements to the animation system. So we're going to go and take a quick look at some of them. One of the bigger ones is the animation compression system has been updated. It now has significantly lower times when you compressing your animations when you bring them in. The Anim Notify system, which we can access right here, has been updated. You can see we now have child menus, as well as the ability to search and filter out the different types of notifies. In addition, we have dynamic and cloth simulation notifies built in. If you're using an existing one, you can right click and replace easily with a drop down list, as you can see here. When using sync marker names, there's caching. So for example, you can right click sync marker and it can show the existing sync markers rather than having to guess or try to remember which ones you were using. Frame rates for sequences are now shown in the top left corner. We can see here the sequence and its frame rate shown. CCDIK, CCDIK skeletal control node. So let me pull that up in the blueprint. Let's find the node once it loads up, and it's right here. And that stands for Cyclic Coordinate Descent Inverse kin Kinematics. I even screwed it up trying to say it slow. Basically, it allows it to better solve in real-time IK for connecting short IK chains, such as shoulder to fingertip. I can actually show you that here. It's actually really, really neat. -o. So you'll see right here, my CCDIK is using its own internal settings for the effector. And that's represented by this transform widget. And I've got it set to go from the shoulder to the index finger. And if I adjust this, it's going to try its best to get to that point. You can see that working right here. It's a nice, easy node to set up. All the settings are in here. But basically, how do you want it effective? Where it's going from and where it's going to and how precise you want it to be, as well as limitations for each rotation. You can also set up as a pin. So I'll turn that on. Now we have a pin, which I can feed into a location. So you can feed this in from a separate point. As you can see now, it's going to be 0, 0, 0. So that kind of doesn't work. So we'll adjust this a little bit. We'll pull it up and we'll pull it out because that looks really weird where it was at. But driving this by code, you could, for example, make it where you could push a button or your character maybe leafs through a book page by page by using key points on that static mesh. So it's a really nice, easy way to make short chains work really simply just by adjusting a value. In addition to that, live animation blueprint recompilation is now non-experimental. And when you're in the animation editors, you'll find that the default is now going to be local space rather than world space for the coordinate system. So that's something to keep in mind. And that's it. Those are some of the major changes in Unreal Engine 4.21 to the animation system.